With everything going on in the world right now, this is a really stressful time for many people. But I want you to know there is a lot of help out there, including free programs. You could sign up for it today. I have to tell you, in my own journey with mental illness, I have learned so much from NAMI NYC, which stands for the National Alliance on Mental Illness of New York City. And joining me now is Kate Steele, NAMI's Development Director. Kate, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Um, how did you get involved with NAMI NYC? So the reason I'm involved with M NAMI NYC is because I have a personal connection. Mm -hmm. um, at NAMI, we like to talk about how one in five people live with a mental illness and the other four are family, friends, mm -hmm. colleagues, and neighbors, and I'm no different. I have friends and family that live with a diagnosis. I personally live with one. So the opportunity to work for an organization that resonates with me so personally um, is, is really amazing. And um, you know, when the opportunity arose to work for NAMI NYC, I jumped at it because I know how impactful they are. No, they definitely mm -hmm. Are and it really seems that everyone is on edge these days. I'm, I'm has NAMI uh, noticed an uptick in, in people reaching out for help? I think what we know is that the pandemic forever changed the world, and there was this global spotlight on mental health and the need for mental health support. And in alignment with that, we saw a exponential increase in demand for our programs and services. That demand hasn't gone away, mm. but people's attention has um, been shifted a little bit. There's a lot going on in the world and in this country, um, but the need for mental health support is as critical as it's ever been. And NAMI NYC is so helpful, um, not only to the person who is living with mental illness, but also the people around them, the family and the friends, because it really is one of those kind of tentacles that reaches so many people. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us about the free programs and services you offer. I mean, some of them, because you have so many. Yeah, absolutely. So we offer free mental health classes, over 50 uh, support groups. We offer a helpline in over 180 different languages, family mentoring support. And then we also deliver educational presentations in community and classroom settings that aim to really reduce the stigma around mental illness. Um, we deliver our programs and services to individuals living with a diagnosis and the families that have a loved one living with a mental illness. And that's important, I think, to mm -hmm. emphasize yeah. because we're the only organization offering that direct assistance to those families. I also think it's important to note that we really try and customize our programs and services for specific communities, especially underserved communities like communities of color, um, LGBTQ plus and more. So people are getting the support that they need, but also in a culturally responsive way. And, and I mean, I love how accessible everything is because they basically can go to your website and you have all the workshops lined up and, and you just, you know, you press a button and you sign up and, and very often it's over Zoom Mm -hmm. So it could be, you can be anywhere in the world yes. and, to, and do this. Yes, absolutely. So not only do we serve people in all five boroughs, but our virtual programming reaches people in all 50 states and over 36 countries. So um, our, our impact is very far reaching. Now, you have a gala coming up yes. Tuesday, the 29th, mm -hmm. and I have honor of yes. emceeing it. <laughs> yeah. um, you still have tickets available, yes. right? Yes, okay. yeah. so not what too can, late. What can people expect? Yeah, absolutely. So the NAMI NYC Gala is an annual event where we celebrate mental health advocates and uh, raise really critical funds for the organization. So this year, it's going to be held on Tuesday, October 29th, 6 to 10 p.m. at the Ziegfeld Ballroom. It's not too late to join us and we're going to be honoring um, people who've made really big strides in the mental health space so for instance um, singer Rachel Platten who's mm -hmm. well known for her hit fight song she's going to be not only receiving an award but also performing um, and then CBS's own uh, Cindy Shu oh. <laughs> will be honored as well with a uh, breaking the stigma award which we're very grateful for um, in addition to emceeing and then one of our other honorees is actually Mizuho America's they're receiving the Corporate Leadership Award for their participation and leadership in our Workplace Mental Health Collaborative, which is, in a nutshell, uh, 20 companies and organizations that have come together to make mental health a priority in the workspace. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's not too late to join. You can go to www.naminyc.org forward slash gala uh, to learn more.
And I just have mm -hmm. to say, going to a, pl a gala like this is really, um, it means a lot because you know everyone in that room mm -hmm. uh, has been touched by, by you know, mental health, mental illness, and, um, and are speaking about it openly. Yes, you know? absolutely. And that's what's important. It's a very inspiring event. Kate, yeah. thank you so much for being thank here and you. all the work that you and NAMI NYC do. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And if you or anyone you know is in crisis, the NAMI NYC helpline is 212-684-3264. You can also call 988, which is the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, where you can get help and talk to someone 24-7.